Hey, it's Bart, Scotch Test Dummies, coming to you with another, another blind quick hitter. And, hello, we had to bring in a manga shirt. I haven't been around for a while. Gotta have one in every once in a while. We are the Scotch Test Dummies. So I have no idea what this is. As you know, and as Scott says, I say too much. I love, I'm going to do a plug here for blind tasting. If you've even got five bottles at home, have a friend, significant other, spouse, adult, 21-year-old child, whatever you got going on, grab a couple sample bottles, create some, do whatever you got to do, have them put them in, have them mark them however you want, just so you don't know what they are, and then you go in and sample and see what you can pick up with open mind, working on being in the present moment, and just sussing out kind of the open, the nose first, and then the first touch to the palate, in the mid palate, and the beautiful, usually, finish, or the quick drop off of the finish. And just have fun with your whiskey. Scott and I, our big push is not only our journey from scotch dummies or whiskey dummies and continuing that journey, but also just having fun with your whiskey. Have fun with it. So, mmm. Some floral notes. It's lighter on the nose. It doesn't feel strong on the ABV. Feels or smells like a scotch. I get some caramel notes. Like a caramel square chew. Love that, by the way. Something else that I'm not able to agree. Maybe a maltedness. And a... Maybe an allspice. Mmm. A rich first open. I'm going to have to come back to the mid palate. A oaky. Wow, there was a flavor I couldn't quite pin down. There's spices. The maltiness throughout. I've got a flavor here I can't pin, but it's very pleasant. Mouth feels slight astringency, very slight, but also velvety. Roof of the mouth, upper cheeks. Uh, a warming mouth feel sensation. Mmm. A little bit of a, uh, a sweet granular sugar. The nose, I'm picking up hints of the, the oak barrel. Vanilla, maybe a honey, a honeycomb. Mm. Nice dram. All right. Just one, maybe a little second, little light drop in there. Maybe a subtle pepper. It's got kind of a warming nose to it. Huh. I get a little bit of a, a rising bread. Almost like uh, mom used to make her own bread, her own cinnamon rolls, and when you came in, you kind of had that warm kitchen feel to it, and a yeasty smell. Beautiful. Oak, malty sweetness. Vanilla. It's very light. I want to see if I can peg down this other flavor in the finish. Hold on. Hmm. Let me be real. Maybe it'll come to me. Ah, Talisker Distillers Edition. Ninety-one. Wow. Ninety-one point six 
proof. A little higher than I thought it was going to be. I won't do the math with my ABV. Mm -hmm. Cut it in half. Mmm. Really not picking up the uh, the peaty notes as much as I would expect. I get a little bit of a roastedness. Maybe that's the the flavor I'm not able to describe earlier. I almost wanted to say even a touch of root beer candy, those little root beer barrel candies with less sweetness. But I'm not sure I've got that now, but it, it's that that's kind of what was hearkening back. Hmm. Yeah, maybe that's still there. Delicious. Let's see. Oh, I don't know who. Maybe. No, I'm not going to say. It could be from the beef. Uh, if your name's on it, I'll always give credit. And if not, I'll guess. Um, woo! Again, delicious. Great. Manga shirt. Kind of like the manga shirt. Delicious and great. <laughs> and the cowboy hats. Uh, we were recently, meaning we, the Scotch Test Dummies, described as kind of those... Uh, those crazy yanks. <laughs> I love that. Um, I'll speak for Scott and I here. We really want to make your whiskey journey enjoyable. Ours is extremely fun and enjoyable. Play with your whiskey. Um, try different things. Um, blind taste. I can't say enough. Set up some blind tastings. It's really, really cool to blow up your expectations and just... Be in the moment with the dram. Enough said. Scotch it. You super scotch guys. Back on Patreon. <laughs> See ya. Bye.